Hi, Stevie's. Uh, for, hello, Stevie's first, I guess. Uh, so, as many of you guys know, a couple years ago, we, uh, we took, well, when we took our bikes to New Mexico and when we took our bikes halfway to Daytona, uh, we had a enclosed trailer. It was really nice. It was put together to haul motorcycles. Uh, what you guys don't know is that it got hail damage on it during one of our storms in Nebraska and it totaled it. I mean, it's totally, completely trashed it. The roof had humongous dents in it. Uh, the whole side looked like somebody shot it with a, a shotgun. All the little holes all over it. Um, so, uh, another thing you guys don't know yet, I guess you guys aren't going to see this for like a month, but we are going on vacation. Uh, like I said, uh, our trailer got totaled out by the insurance. So, we're going to go get another one. And leading up to vacation, you guys won't see this video for quite a while, uh, but uh, uh, Stevie Travis and I have to uh, set it up to haul motorcycles, which I just bought a bunch of stuff for that because this one's not set up to haul anything, really. Uh, it's just a wood floor. Probably has the D-rings in the four corners, but nothing like what you need to haul a motorcycle. I've looked at everything. I've looked at the biker bar. I've looked at just adding more D-rings like we did like our old trailer had and tire chocks. Um, I'm, I'm going to go the E-Track route just because it's simpler. I have the really nice straps to strap the bikes down and everything already. We'll uh, talk to you guys when we get there. And I love how even while I'm talking to the camera, you're still clicking on your phone. I'm not in the on it. You're on it. But I've had you on it the whole time. Did. I am and funny. then when you start clicking, that's when I do this. That's why I went back to it. And then I do this and you're still clicking. So, uh, the, where we're going in Arizona is right along the Colorado River. We'll fill you guys in more later on. But it's like 1,500 miles from our house to there. So, we'll have 1,500 miles of him watching of you me work. clicking. <laughs> Bye! I got gloves in there if you want them. Okay, so we are at uh, Reed's trailer in Omaha. They're actually not open, but they uh, gave us a way to get in to pick up the trailer. And uh, what do you think? It's really cold. <laughs> That's what I think. So, uh, it's a Bighorn trailer, and here it is. It is a little bit taller than our old one by half of a foot but it's two feet longer. White and black pickup, and we got a white trailer with black wheels. Woo! Looks, <laughs> looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, uh, RV latch. Oh, the lights are on. <laughs> Just that one. Oh. oh, that's not. Yeah, but it's it's nothing like inside. what we had with the... Look, you can stand up, though. <laughs> I was going like this. <laughs> Anywhere again. Alright, so the next videos you guys see will be us putting this trailer together to haul bikes. And then after that, uh, we'll start our vacation, which is still over a month away, but we've got to so we gotta put stuff together. So long time coming. It's gonna it's gonna be good. It's gonna be really good, I think. I gotta get my trailer brake controller hooked up. Alright, see you guys in a little bit, which will be weeks for us, but just a couple minutes for you. <laughs> Bye! Welcome back. Like I said, a couple seconds for you couple weeks for me so far um, so the last time you saw this trailer we were picking it up and now we're going to install everything we've bought so far I do there are a couple things I don't have yet but I can get started with this so I'm not gonna I'm just gonna unpackage this and then we'll take a look okay so we got everything unpacked this is all from US cargo control everything you see here cost uh, less than 250 bucks We've got six five-footers, four four-footers. These doohickeys here go on this so that you can don't trip over the e-track and stuff. Got eight D-rings, spare tire deal, and a hook to hold my jack. And these are to fasten it down. So the plan here is to put two of the five footers on each side 
and two of the five footers down the middle. So I'm gonna lay that out quick and we're gonna see how that's gonna work. Okay, so it is a couple days later, right? Uh, <clears throat> I ran into some problems. Um, I didn't have, I didn't have good enough drill bits. I'm gonna leave it at that. If you ask me how many drill bits I broke, I'm gonna tell you I broke them all. And I wish that was a joke. Uh, so I got Travis to come and help me. Um, the E-Track is now in. And Amy's bike is now strapped in. So we're gonna test it out. Um, we're gonna take Miss Stevie's bike into town real quick. So I did also spring some money and buy the Condor uh, pit stop, yeah, pit stop chocks. I got two of them. There's one of them. Not, those are not bolted to the floor yet. And the reason is, number one, I mean the bike's not gonna go anywhere. I got it strapped in the back, strapped in the front, pulling opposite directions. The straps are holding it, not the chalk. Uh, we need to get the tongue weight set on this trailer, so we don't really know where to start putting bikes yet. So we're not gonna we're not gonna put that chalk in until next weekend. We can put it on the scale, weigh it, figure out the tongue weight that we need, and then we can move the bikes back and forth accordingly to get the tongue weight correct. Trailer's done, take like 25. So it's been weeks since I uh, talked to you guys last. Um, we were installing the E-Track, which we are done. There is two 10 foot sections of E-Track. There are two Condor chocks. There's E-Track up on the walls, on the top and on the bottom. This is so I can hang D-rings. That's my jack, believe it or not, that yellow thing. Spare tire, and the E-Track behind there. And those bars are for the weight distribution hitch. And those are my straps. Now, did we need a weight distribution? <laughs> did we need a weight distribution hitch? No, we didn't need it. But we're going over 3,000 miles. Why not have it, right? Um, the Condor chocks do have the, the trailer mounts underneath them, so they are bolted down. Um, which actually, if you don't have those bolted down, which I know they work without bolting them down, and there's a good chance that we're going to have to move the bikes ahead at some point. i um, not really happy with the tongue weight the way it is, but in my mind I wanted to leave room for luggage because we'll put all our luggage in here. And then that should be enough to equal it out. But the weight distribution hitch shouldn't matter anyway. I do have 10% tongue weight for everybody out there. I do have 10%. Trailer weighs 4,000 pounds with the bikes in it. I do have 10%. I do have over 400 pounds on the tongue. So, yeah. This is done. We leave for vacation next weekend. Next weekend we leave for vacation. So, 1,500 miles to Arizona, to where we're staying, and then uh, many moons of riding after that. It'll be the last video for the trailer, so videos for our vacation will be coming out, um, and then we'll do a video on the way there with the tow vehicle, because that changed too. <laughs> Everybody, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you know when we load up next. And until next time, everybody stay cool, and we will see you on the road.